Item number SCP-ES-019 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures SCP-ES-019 is contained and located in a safe deposit box within a storage facility at Site-34. Any personnel interested in experimenting with SCP-ES-019 may do so by obtaining authorization from at least one Level 3 staff member. Only D-Class personnel are allowed physical access to SCP-ES-019. SCP-ES-019 has the appearance of a pair of wireless headphones with AM-FM radio, also incorporating a red and black MP3 player of unknown brand and production year. It bears a few scratches and minor damage to the casing, produced during its recovery. SCP-ES-019 has the effect that when tuning into any AM-FM frequency, different transmissions are perceived randomly. The duration of these transmissions are completely unpredictable, varying from a few seconds to consecutive hours. Most of the content of these messages narrate different scenarios about the demise of the human species, reported by various voices. Some of the messages indicate that these disasters occurred during a number of different factors some of which are other SCP objects, including some commonly seen as everyday and or commercialized objects. A side effect of SCP-ES-019, displayed in approximately percent of the subjects who listen to the broadcast for at least 30 seconds, is a conviction in and focus on avoiding said catastrophes by preventing the occurrence of preceding events by either killing a person before their birth destroying an artifact before it becomes a threat, or Such subjects can be treated with Class A amnestics, with the exception of those with a history of mental problems, mainly those affected by obsessive-compulsive disorder, psychopathy, and schizophrenia, for whom this condition has become permanent. The reason behind the inefficacy of amnestic treatment remains unknown, though speculated to be a side effect of SCP-ES-019 on said group. Addendum. SCP-ES-019 was recovered from a warehouse owned by a shell company of Marshall, Carter, and Dark in the port of the city of during a joint follow-up with members of the Global Occult Coalition in order to ascertain, according to informants, the possible presence of SCP or SCP within that building. Shortly after surveillance began, a small group of armed individuals appeared and forced their way into the warehouse initiating a firefight that resulted in with minimal losses among the agents of the Foundation and the GOC. However, much of the stored material was lost, with the exception of SCP-ES-019 and some documents regarding potential customers that were recovered from among the remains. There were no survivors of among the aggressors, or any potential people inside who may have tried to determine whether SCP-ES-019 was the only example of its kind, or a part of a larger batch with more components. The incident was covered up as a gang turf war that ended with the destruction of the building due to a gas leak resulting from the shooting. List of transmissions received by SCP-ES-019 Transmission 019-011 Duration of transmission 2 minutes 33 seconds Content a female voice recounts what seems to be the last moments of the city of Berlin during the end of the Second World War. This narrative displays discrepancies from baseline history, such as atomic bombs being dropped not only on Nagasaki and Hiroshima, but also in other cities such as Moscow, Tokyo, San Francisco, Paris, Rome, Brasilia, and Buenos Aires, among others. Moreover, the voice gives the year 1957 and states that there have been no summers since 1946 as a result of a prolonged nuclear winter. The transmission is abruptly cut as a bomb siren begins blaring. Effects on Test Subject Subject D-1907 stated that this event could have been stopped by assassinating various political figures such as Adolf Hitler, Winston Churchill, Emperor Hirohito, and President Transmission 019-015 Duration of Transmission 1 minute, 12 seconds Content 
The weeping of an infant voice can be heard, asking for help and stating that he is feeling lonely and misses his home. Screams and shattered glass can be heard before the transmission is cut. Effects on Test Subject Subject D-1138 ordered that the greatest number of lights be turned on in all corners of the planet, refusing to provide any explanation. Transmission 019-021 Duration of Transmission 1 hour, 20 minutes, 22 seconds Content The song Twinkle Twinkle Little Star on continuous repeat, performed by a female voice with an echo effect that becomes increasingly distorted and cacophonous. A whisper in the voice of a child can be heard during the last few seconds before the transmission stops. Effects on Test Subject Subject D-2022 showed nervousness during the period of time the transmission lasted, having the sensation of being constantly observed after the experiment. Shortly afterwards, the subject lost the ability to fall asleep, presenting symptoms similar to fatal familial insomnia, although there was no family history of it. Two weeks after the test, the subject began to complain about hearing a whisper from time to time, humming the song heard during the test. Twenty-two days following the test, D-2022 died as a result of multiple organ failures. Transmission 019-027 Duration of Transmission 30 minutes. Content The voice of what appears to be an elderly man with a peninsular Spanish accent, mentioning the discovery of a hidden mimetic agent present in the prayer of that reportedly caused a cultural regression in most modern societies returning them to a new dark age, where the main technological advances in the field of telecommunications, medicine, anthropology, and archaeology, among others, have been declared heretical, with strong religious and societal persecution. The broadcast ends by warning listeners not to heed the call to join a new crusade to quote, exterminate heretics from the face of the earth, unquote. Effects on Test Subject Shortly after the end of the transmission, Subject D-1137 began to accuse the staff of the Foundation of being heretics and, quote, guardians of the fallen angel, unquote, promoting religious persecution, the weakening of the main institution with the exception of While he was being transferred to his cell, D-1137 became extremely violent in front of the cell of D-1908, who was an atheist, accusing him before, quote, the heavenly powers of the Holy Father to be an of the devil, unquote, and continued to resist attainment before being contained and transferred to the Department of Psychology for observation and study. Transmission 019-031 Duration of Transmission 5 minutes Content The full version of the song Hamburger Lady by Throbbing Gristle, with a distant female scream audible in the background. Following the conclusion of the song are 40 seconds consisting of sobbing, along with a male voice whispering Hamburger Lady before the broadcast is abruptly cut off. Effects on Test Subject Subject D-1999 displayed nervousness and anguish while the song was playing and, once finished, returned to his normal state of mind. The subject remained under surveillance until their termination, during which he emphatically refused to eat the meat of any animal resisting violently even under threat of termination. Transmission 019-037 Duration of transmission Hours Minutes Seconds Content A debate between two subjects with distorted voices on the feasibility of multi-purpose breeding of human livestock, detailing methods of breeding, fattening, slaughtering, and live transport as well as traditional utilities apart from feeding of the transport animal and The debate lasted for minutes, and was repeated several times in different languages, including Spanish, English, Mandarin Chinese, Portuguese, and others. The last debate took place in an unidentified language, speculating that it could be the original language of the debating subjects. Effects on Test Subject Given the long duration of this transmission, four Class D subjects identified as D-2021, D-2037, D-2042, and D-2057 were used. 
Two hours after the transmission ended, subjects began to suffer a deterioration of superior functions, such as reasoning and speech. Eight hours later, they lost their last personality traits while retaining instinctive behaviors. Twenty-two hours later, the test subjects had become extremely docile, simultaneously losing the ability to walk bipedally and acquiring behaviors similar to that of cattle. The subjects were evaluated and placed under observation, and their termination was postponed in anticipation of possible changes.